Hello, hi, what is pie? Oh, that's a rhyme. Deliberate one. So today's video is themed about Pi Day activities. And before I begin, let me share with you that even if you are a non-maths teacher, you can take up Pi Day activities. For example, maths and English can be integrated and speaking activities can be clubbed with Pi activities. And before we begin with the activities, we must understand what is pi. Though I'm sure as teachers, you have explained it to the students. And if not, you can always reiterate that in the class. So pi is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter. It is an irrational number, which goes on and on forever till infinite. So let's begin with the activities of pi. Pi Day is celebrated on March 14th because its approximate value 3.14 corresponds to that 3 being the third month so March and 14 the decimal point approximate one as the date so 14th of March. The other uh, approximate value 22 upon 7 this is called the Pi approximation day 22 being the date and 7th month which is July. So 22nd of July is Pi approximation day. So any of these days can be celebrated as Pi days in schools or other academic institutes. My first creative activity that can be taken in English as well as maths is Pi puns. Yes, you heard me right. Puns we use in English, but Pi puns can be specific to Pi. And uh, when the students would create the puns of their own, they would use some knowledge of Pi to create that pun. Isn't it interesting? Let me give you some uh, example. For example, 3.14% of people are Pi rates. So, 3.14 and pi rates. I hope you got that. Another one can be, don't talk to a pi. It would go on forever because it's infinite. Okay. The second activity is related to the memorization because it is the consecutive recitation of the value of pi. How so ever you know you you memorize it to what extent you can go uh, about uh, memorizing the digits as per the order of value of pi uh, guinness book record holder is uh, shri rajveer meena who is from rajasthan he has memorized and recited up to 70,000 decimal places of pi. So could you beat that? Do try this with your children. They'll be excited to learn the value of pi and there are many songs available on internet through which you can easily memorize the value of pi till 100 places. Moreover, it can also be taken as a competition and whosoever will memorize and recite the consecutive digits correctly may be suitably awarded. My third activity again is very fascinating. Pi costume and introduction. The student has to wear any costume that reflects pi. It can be a circle, it can be the symbol of pi, it can be anything related to pi. And after putting uh, the creativity at display, the child needs to introduce himself in first person as pi. For example, Hello, I am Pi. My approximate value is 3.14. You know how to calculate me? Like that. In first person, the child will introduce himself or herself. The next activity is Pi Melody. So Pi Melody is basically creation of a composition, writing of a rhythmic song based on information or facts or relevance about Pi. So it's up to the students how they create it. Uh, we can take an example uh, as I begin. Hello, hi, what is Pi? 
like that now this is one rhyme we can add up something to it uh, say um, let's catch up some speed it's the ratio of the c to d c for circumference and d for diameter so this is how it can go or um, let's be wise it has nothing to do with the circle size so it's rhyming it's some basic information and it's about pi so how they create this melody it's up to their creativity and i'm sure as their mentor as their facilitator you will be amazed to see how beautifully they create the pi melodies My last activity is maths jokes. Now why maths jokes on a pi day? So the point here is to eliminate if possible the mathematics phobia that students have. So let's have some fun with maths and uh, have jokes with numbers, with values, uh, maybe pi based. So this is how people, uh, your students would have fun with uh, mathematics and they'll eliminate the fear of uh, learning maths because it can be fun as well. So uh, this is a very different idea. So it's up to you how you want to take it whether it would be beneficial for your students or not you can take a call other activities are uh, pie craft and of course the um, pie quiz that can be taken either in teams or individually so i hope these activities will help you to celebrate pie day with your students do let me know in the comment box if you celebrate Pi day in somewhat different manner. I'll be waiting for your comments. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you and do subscribe to Yarn to Learn and help me reach 100k soon. Thank you. Goodbye. God bless you all.